happens. Um, if people can hear me, shalom, um, everybody. And as usual, we are going to flow by way of the Spirit. All right. I'm closing out of things in my task manager because I was trying to figure out why the hell it was taking so long to connect. <clears throat> um, but anyway, let's go ahead. Oh, uh, I just had this melody upon my spirit, you know. Um, it be on my mind, you know. Um, all of these things that I'm led to speak about on this channel by way of the spirit all of these things is constantly on my mind you know um so <laughs> uh i was in a restroom and you know having to look in the mirror and i just began singing that you know and it was upon my spirit to go get my phone and record it because it you know, just automatic, bro. Like this, this tune that is just like in me, you know. And so, anyway, we're gonna start with that. All right. Um, is my computer being slow? It be on my mind. It be on my mind. things that I'm led to speak about on this channel um, our deliverance you know um, the endurance that we're having to continuously go through we're having to continuously do um, the oppression that we're having to endure the persecution, the afflictions, um, the ostracizing, bruh, it's a lot, okay? It's a lot that I'm having to deal with and go through, okay? Like, ugh. People don't want to have compassion, bro. People don't want to have mercy, People are refusing to show any kind of kindness. They're refusing to show any kind of love to me. And yet, I've been here diligently giving you this word by the way of the Spirit. People want to regulate that as arrogance in utter ignorance. Like, really? So you just gonna assume about me. You just gonna assume that I chose to do this in and of my own power. You're just assuming that I have not been instructed by way of the Spirit to do what I'm doing. It's not me that's arrogant. It's the wicked. It's the charlatans. It's the pretenders. They are threatened. Yeah. Because when the real ones are on the scene, the pretenders have to run and hide. They can no longer masquerade. Because now people are going to see the real ones. Now that the real ones are here, we're no longer hidden. We've been awakened in a land of our captivity. So now people can, 
They can see clearly. The people can see. You can see now it is the separation of the wheat and the tares. Because now that people can clearly see the difference between us and the charlatans, now they're making their choice whether to hold to the false reality, the illusion, the charlatans, or humble themselves like children and cleave to the children of light. Those who they can clearly see are way different than those of this world, but pretend like they're of the Most High. How you gonna be from the Most High when you're just like the world? When you're doing everything that the world does, what is setting you apart? From the world. See, the real ones from the great spirit that really ain't of this world, our life exemplifies this. Our actions exemplify this. We are the exact opposite of this world, and we're living it. So there is the difference, is the clear difference. We don't do as the world does. Therefore, we have a life of hell because the world loves its own. So your charlatans is accepted by the world. But the real ones of the great spirit is scorned of the world. We're hated, rejected, mistreated, outcasted. Exactly what the scripture declared would happen. So come again with your ideology claiming that I'm in arrogance. <laughs> oh man. Let's get it started. The bare humility to the spirit of truth and the reproof that comes to let us know of our iniquity and our transgressions. We must love reproof. When we become a rejecter of reproof, we turn our ear from reproof then that shows our heart to the great spirit. That shows that we don't really want to get to know our maker. We're comfortable and complacent in our iniquity. Now, <clears throat> we're going to go over some of this, all right? I'm instructed to give you all of this work, you know? <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> this is what's up. I didn't know this existed, okay? I was led by way of the spirit to type reproof, KJV, <laughs> and I was brought here. And this is a treasure chest, okay? <laughs> oh, my gosh. The pillars of heaven tremble and are astonished at his reproof. A fool despises his father's instruction, okay? I'm here. On a divine mission from the great spirit. Okay? I've been given the word to give to you. And the scripture tell you that a fool despises the instruction of his father. I'm giving you the instruction of the living power. Alright? But it's been regarded as nothing. <laughs> but understand... He that regardeth reproof is prudent. Let's find out what this is. Let's find out what prudent is. I'm going to take my time with this, bro. I don't know how many videos this uh project going to be. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thought for the future. <laughs> oh, my God. You people are holding on to what is now. What is temporary. Your fool's gold, okay? 
Oh my gosh. Acting with or showing care and thought for the future, the near future, that many of you are ignorant of, okay? Mm-hmm. And they, they put the prudent money change, money manager. This ain't got nothing to do with money, all right? Oh, my God. It was a Gentile that wrote this, all right? It had to have been, all right? Because everything's about money to them, okay? <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro. Prudence. Prudence is the ability to govern and discipline oneself by the use of reason. It is classically considered to be a virtue, and in par- in particular, one of the four cardinal virtues. Wow, cardinal. Well, what is this word? But bro, because they be using terms like the Roman Catholic Church be using. What the hell is this? Let me find out what this is. Cardinal. See, I knew, I knew it. I knew it was per- pertaining to the Roman Catholic Church, bro. But they ain't got nothing to do with morality. They are immoral. Extremely immoral. Okay? They are not a moral people. All right? They have stamped out morals. Okay? So, um, it's of the greatest importance, meaning it's fundamental to your salvation. Okay? You must be able to reason. You know, um, you must be able to, you must have the ability to govern and discipline yourself by the use of reason. Okay? Um, you need to be able to think for yourself. Okay? You, you know, so many people don't know how to think for themselves. They are so used to cleaving to their core belief systems. And their core belief systems was given to them by mortal men. They were taught their core belief by mortal men. So they are without the ability to govern and discipline themselves by the use of reason. They don't think for themselves. They are holding to what they have been taught to believe. And that is detrimental to your salvation. How can you be saved when you refuse to unlearn what you've been taught by wicked people? And relearn via the spirit of truth. When you're not subduing your ego, you must subdue your ego. You must let go of what it is you think you know. Be wise. Okay? You are not wise when you're holding on to dogmatic belief systems. You are the opposite of wise. Okay? Oh, goodness sakes. Mm, mm, mm. I didn't plan that. (laughs) All right. A fool despises his father's instruction. All right? Let's put it into your understanding. Bruh, I'm not trying to hurt nobody, okay? But, oh my God. It seems as if I am surrounded by fools, okay? Because you are despising me, okay? And I am here because of the Most High, alright? I'm here because of my Father, alright? I'm here to help you, okay? But you are despising me. That means you are a fool, okay? A fool is a person who acts unwisely 
or imprudently a silly person okay um foolish all right you are acting unwisely people okay it is unwise to despise me all right it is extremely unwise is unwise what the hell i didn't mean to do that <laughs> is extremely unwise to despise me because i am here i am here on behalf of my father he has instructed me okay but he that regardeth this reproof is prudent and the house of the righteous is much treasure okay in the house of the righteous is much treasure this video once i upload it i think it will be a hundred uh, 950 videos okay there is much treasure on this channel that people have been spitting upon sleeping upon acting as if it's irrelevant but the revenues the abundance of the wicked is trouble Oh, you're trusting in your abundance of your wealth and your riches, your materialistic things, that which is tangible, that which you can see here and now. You're having no concern for that which is coming. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the foolish doth not do so. Right, the and the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the most high. Shedding blood, shedding the blood of others, the most high never asked. So the most high never sent the Messiah to be a human sacrifice that many of you are trusting and believing in with your core belief system. You refuse to take accountability for your own damn actions. But understand that the prayer of the upright is his delight. So when I pray, the most high hears. It don't mean that I don't have to endure great tribulation and suffering. It ain't that the Most High don't hear. Oh, the Most High hears. And is taking note of my self-sacrifice. I sacrifice my own wants and desires. I sacrifice myself. Oh, and he's taking note of all of you who profess to serve my power. All of this is going to be for a testimony. I am a living witness. And you are going to have no excuses. When it's time for your judgment. And it's time for my deliverance. That's number one. <laughs> That's down. <laughs> Let's continue, bruh. But ye have set at not all my counsel. Why is it that you people want to work so hard to make me a thing of naught? Why you work so hard to diminish me? Why you band together to ignore me? And act like what I've been given is irrelevant. It's astounding to me. See, not only do I got to deal with the giants, you know, those who are, you know, I'm on their platforms like YouTube and Facebook, okay? So I already got to deal with them suppressing me. But the people who I'm here to help awaken, oh, y'all band together majority of you, many of you, 
You band together and you act like I don't exist. You act like what I have been given is irrelevant. You think that you doing that is going to cause me to give up. You know, you, you think that all you banding together is shut up your bowels of compassion from me. All of you working together to withhold from me. You think that that's going to cause me to put this down. And if I don't put it down, you think that you banding together and causing my internet to get cut off because I don't have money to pay for it to keep it on. You think banding together to withhold from me so that hopefully I won't have a roof over my head. This is what you guys are hoping so you you know you can't force me to put this down to go earn money. So instead, you withhold from me to force my internet to get cut off. Force me to not have a roof over my head. So that way, I earn money then. Or, I don't have nothing. This what you wicked people want for me. This what you want for me. See, I'm here to do my spiritual mission. But you people don't want me to do my spiritual mission. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You want me to do what you do. And because you know I refuse to do what you do. Yeah. You you withhold till I don't have what I need. To do what I've been called to do. But no, you not. That ain't no devil, no adversary, ain't no demon, no evil energy. None of that is going to stop what the Most High ordained for my life. So no matter what all I have to go through and endure, I know that eventually the Most High going to establish me. I just have to, I'm sitting back watching all you self-righteous people profess that you worship and serve my power. Why you do this to me? Well, all while you do this to me, all while you doing this to somebody that he has instructed to do what I'm doing. It's astounding. And the most I is like, wow, look at these people. My name all up in their mouth, but they ain't got no love in their heart. You can read in the scripture that it says that he that says that he loveth me, but hateth his brother is a liar. Like, bruh. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. You have said it at not all oh, my counsel. And you would not receive my reproof. You won't receive none of his reproof. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? How long you going to stay on surface level? Refusing to look be below, look beneath the surface. See, you're superficial. And superficial people want to stay on surface level. They don't want to get to the root of the problem. And the scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. But he asking a question, so let me reread it again. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? How long, you scorners, will you delight in your scorning? How long will you fools hate Knowledge. To whom shall I speak and give warning? Behold, there, these people, this is what's in my heart. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? 
behold, their ear is uncircumcised, and they refuse to hearken. The word of the Most High is unto them a reproach. <laughs> they have no delight in it, but they love their goddamn money. They love their materialistic things. <laughs> oh my God, they cannot hear me. Turn at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. <sighs> because I have called and you refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man is regarding it, but they are setting themselves at naught against his counsel. They are not wanting to receive any of his reproof. Therefore, you are not going to be delivered from your calamity that is about to befall you. You're going to scream in agony. You're going to cry out, Most I save me. You're, bo you're going to be literally thinking you can say a, a, a literal name, Jesus. You're going to be trying to say all of these different names. Is this going to work? Jesus. Yeah. Yahusha, please save me. Yahusha, save me. And he ain't going to listen to you. You gonna seriously think that it's gonna be a specific name, that there's some magic name that you need to call upon. Ain't one of them names gonna work. Ain't one of them names because you don't serve the one who you've been professing that you serve. You have been serving the adversary. And his people have been here warning you. And you've been disregarding us as if we are irrelevant. Therefore, you are disregarding his word. You're disregarding the one who you are professing. Therefore, you gonna be mocked. When your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and when distress and when distress and anguish come upon you, mm, mm, mm. you ain't gonna have no deliverance, for you have scorned. His instruction. You have disregarded his reproof, his word by the spirit of truth. You hate the most high. You hate his people. You hate righteousness. You hate love. You hate real divine love. You love superficiality. You love this false as reality. You love what the adversary has given unto you. They shall call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early. Yeah, early on when you, when that calamity, because this is what he's saying. He's telling you, soon as that destruction come upon you, soon as that judgment hits, and you 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 see that you're in you're in your judgment when you realize that now you're in judgment. Oh. You going to be calling out to him. You going to be trying to seek him at the moment of your judgment, right when it begins to befall you. 
<laughs> you gonna begin seeking him then, but you ain't gonna find him. Because he got his people here right now. We've been here for years trying to help you people. Oh, well, you've been despising us and mistreating us. Refusing to do what you know you are supposed to do. The rod and reproof give wisdom, people. I'm here to take out your stony heart. I'm here to help you melt your stony heart. I'm here to help you renew your mind. I'm here to help you be born again. I'm here to help you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I'm here to give you the spirit of truth. But you don't want it. Because you think you are already wise. According to this world. According to the wisdom of this world. You are wise. You have your money. You have what you want and need. In this false ass reality. But you think this is going to go on for eternity. And that's where you are foolishly unaware of the truth. You're unaware of the true reality that we have been forced to live in. The rod and reproof give wisdom. But... A child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. See, before we been awakened, you know, it's like the children didn't just been left to themselves in pure ignorance, without any kind of wisdom, without any kind of knowledge, without any kind of understanding, any kind of clarity of what's righteous from what's wicked, it's all been blended, and people have been deeply deceived into thinking that righteousness is ac thinking that righteousness is actually wicked, and wickedness is actually what righteous. We live in an upside down, backwards as society. And now that the children of light have been risen, we're here shining the light on the true reality. And the children looking at us like we, we're ignorant. See, the children, all of you, that love this world. See, this is, this is what we've been living in. The children been left to themselves. Okay? No, no parent instruction. All right? They tell you the truth in the movies, people. All right? So you've been in Pleasure Island. Okay? Enjoying the carnal pleasures of your flesh. Okay? All the boys and girls in Pleasure Island just living according to the pleasures of your flesh. You don't care nothing about spiritual matters. But what you don't understand is that Lucifer is turning all of y'all into jackasses. Yeah, he, he gives you all the fun and all the pleasures of your flesh. And this is what people love. This is what the children love. You know, all of you. You know, without understanding. Without true wisdom. Okay? All you can see is the here and now. Pleasure Island. This is what the wicked has laid out upon this earth. Anything that you want, you can get as long as you have money. But I've always had a problem with this. I was made to live in this and, you know, I was confused my whole life. You know, I didn't understand. 
and I was seeking answers. Therefore, I accepted the reproof of the spirit of truth. All right? I love the spirit of truth because it gave me understanding and clarity. So, understand, people. I'm here to help you. When you people are refusing his counsel, you are despising all his reproof. Didn't he tell you this before? That you are despising his reproof? And you know, here, a fool despises his father's instruction. Okay? You are despising his reproof. All right? <sighs> Whoso loveth, whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge. Okay? Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge. This was me. Okay? Because I was seeking all my life. And no mortal could explain to me why this world was the way that it was. Why is an unfair world? People just accept it. Life ain't fair. Get over it. This is what my family has said to me my whole damn life. Like, why am I expected to be complacent with that? But at the same time, you want to tell me that because I grew up in a family with Christianity. You know, so on one hand, they're telling me that God is all good. God is all love. You know, and then on the other hand, they're telling me life ain't fair. Get over it. The reason we have to suffer is because Adam and Eve sinned. You know, but that did not, it didn't make sense, bro. It didn't make sense because then I'm looking around at the wicked you know, people that are wholly wicked, they're able to live good, okay? So, that did not make sense on, well, then how is the Most High all loving and all good? Because clearly there's something wrong with that, with a wicked on top and us on the bottom, okay? There was just so many questions that I had growing up, and I was seeing with my eyes, but had no clarity, no understanding, and nobody around me could answer my questions, okay? So, when the clarity and the understanding began to come to me by way of the Spirit, I loved the instruction, all right? I loved it. I loved the knowledge that I received. Therefore, I did not hate the reproof. I accepted the reproof. Okay? I humbled myself to the spirit of truth and the reproof that it brung. Okay? Yeah, it hurt. I got freaking cut many times with that sword of the spirit of truth. Okay? But I did not let it hurt in my heart. Because I ain't brutish. Okay? And let's find out what this word means. <laughs> Resembling a beast. Showing lack of human sensibility. Okay? Beastly. Inhumane, okay, animalistic, you're led by your instincts, not by your spirit, but we were instructed to crucify our flesh and walk in the spirit, 
Why are you people refusing to do that? Why are you so complacent living in your carnal flesh, being so damn carnal minded where you cannot comprehend spiritual matters? Cruel, violent, and stupid, resembling or suggesting a peace. Okay? Bestial. All right? The characteristic of an animal in nature. All right? That means you serve Satan, your lower carnal nature. All right? We're breaking it all the way down to the nitty gritty. Because time's up. Okay? It's time to make your choice with crystal clarity. All right? Because Satan did not play fair. I realize Satan didn't play fair. The most I realize is Satan didn't play fair. All right? This reality was forced upon us people, and we were taught that it's normal. You're taught that it's okay to be a brute beast, okay? Eating dead bodies, all right? So understand, the most I knows, okay? Therefore, he seeded us. All right, he planted us, the children of light, to awaken at a certain time, and it's close to the time of the end of this age. That's why he awakened us to give you life rafts, but you want to keep spitting on us. Keep doing it, go ahead, because you get free agency. All right, but whoso loveth instruction loveth knowledge, but he that hateth reproof reproof is brutish. All right, a good man obtaineth favor of the Most High, but a man of wicked devices will condemn himself. Okay, a man shall not be established by wickedness. All right, so understand. The wicked being on top is only a temporary thing. Okay? You ain't gonna be you ain't established by the most high. Oh no, 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 no. Satan had his time. Alright? He had a half a time. And you wicked people, you were deceived by the adversary. Alright? But it ain't it ain't gonna last much longer. Okay? Your your world this world of wickedness ain't going to last much longer, okay? But the root of the righteous shall not be moved, okay? Understand, all right? We we are the root of righteousness, okay? We are the root of the righteous, okay? We are the true holy people. We are the true holy seed. We, we are the indigenous seed of all the lands that were colonized, Okay? Um, now, uh, and say, let's go here because it's in the middle of something. Wow, this was instruction from my people, and they would not listen. Wow. Wow. This was instruction given to my people, all right? And this is why... 
um, our wealth was allowed into the hands of the wicked, into the hands of the heathen. Okay, see, there's a reason that the wicked are able to live lavishly while the righteous are suffering. Okay? Um, Proverbs chapter 5. My son, attend unto my wisdom, and bow thine ear to my understanding, that thou mayest regard discretion, and that thy lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps take hold on hell. Lest thou shouldest ponder the path of life, her ways are movable that thou canst not know them. Hear me thou therefore, O children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove thy way far from her, and come not nigh the door of her house. How many times does he have to tell you to come out of her, my people, so that you be not a partaker of her iniquity? Lest thou give thine honor unto others, and thy years unto the cruel. This happened to my people. Okay, right now, the wicked are being honored. Okay, right now, we are being persecuted by the cruel. Okay, I am going to be 48 years old come the 10th of this month. Okay, so in six days, I'm going to be 48 years old. And all of my life, I have been mistreated by those who are cruel. I have been witnessing the wicked be glorified and honored. I have witnessed the wicked be filled with our wealth. At the time, I did not know that it was our wealth. I didn't know who I was all my life. See, the scripture declared that we would discontinue from our heritage. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And we serve our enemies in the land which we knew not. For our iniquity, we reaped what we had sown. Okay? So understand. For generations, we did not know who we were because it was stamped out by the worst of the heathen. Okay? So we lost our heritage. We lost our inheritance. All right? And we have been serving our enemies in a land in which we don't know. Okay? Because we didn't know this. We didn't know the holy wicked ruling on top of us, okay? We had the blessings of this land. That's all we knew was the goodness of the Most High in this land until it was allowed to be invaded by the worst of the heathen, okay? So therefore, we have been living in a land that we know not. All right, being shot down by wicked, corrupt police while they hold themselves not guilty, unarmed, shot down by the wicked, corrupt police, hung in trees, our children fed, fed to alligators, used as alligator bait in Florida and Georgia, Alabama. 
They did the most to us. So hell no, it wasn't a land that we knew. It became, it became a land of oppression and tyranny instead of a land of freedom and happiness. Okay? And all while we have been serving our enemies the whole damn time while they took our wealth for themselves, the strangers be filled with thy wealth. And thy labors be in the house of a stranger. Every single company or corporation that I worked for, understand, it was a stranger that I had to apply and have an interview with. Okay? I had to go beg for a job from my enemies. All right? The highest paid CEOs here in America are all foreigners on my ancestral land. But all while I was doing this, all while I was working jobs, I had no clue. I had no idea that this was my ancestral land. You know, I was taught to give these people honor and respect as well. Okay? Not knowing that I'm part of the biblical people. Not knowing that I was having to go to my enemies for everything that I want and need. Now, see, I was taught that these are the holy people. Okay? Because I grew up all my life seeing the movies. All right? Mm hmm one second. Mm -hmm. I grew up watching the biblical movies, reading the Left Behind series, okay? So all the biblical people was portrayed to be these people, all right? Every single biblical movie, even Noah. So all three sons of Noah were Europeans? Like, wow. Well, like, really? So Ham? I, like, clearly him was our complexion, all right? But in the movie, they portray him as European. And no one said a word about it. It's accepted. People have been complacent in utter deception. This supposed to be Jacob? Really? This supposed to be Moses? Really? How come they left out the part about him putting his hand in his bosom and removing his hand and his hand being pale skin and then putting his hand back in his bosom and removing it and it's back to his normal color, his normal complexion, copper colored, not pale skin. This ain't said out of hatred. Everything that they have done is out of hate. And to diminish us. To steal our blessing and portray themselves to the world as if they are the saviors of humanity. Passion of the Christ, a whole damn Gentile. They're the ones that murdered the Messiah. This supposed to be King David? Really? <sighs> mm, mm, mm. Noah was albino. He was not European. And I'm not staying on this much longer. But um, let me give you an image here. He would look something like this. All right? That's a good depiction of what Noah would have looked like. Something like this. Okay? Not European. All right? But something like this. Okay? Albino. Not European. All right? This was strange in those days. 
okay? Because we were all this complexion, okay? But he was a sign that this complexion people would be coming into play, all right? Yes. So, Noah was a sign. That's why he was this complexion, okay? And it scared his father, Lamech. Now, um, so the strangers have been filled with our wealth, okay? We've had to go to our enemies for everything that we want and need. Romans eleven twelve. Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world, and a diminishing of us the riches of the Gentiles, how much more our fullness, people? You want to inquire of that? You should be asking yourself that. All right, you nations got to live lavishly on our wealth, that which was given to us. And you made us a commodity in our own damn ancestral land. And thou mourn at the last, when thy flesh and thy body are consumed. And say, how have I hated instruction, and my heart despised reproof. And have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. I was almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly. Drink waters out of thine own cistern, and running waters out of thine own well, reaping where we have been sowing. Let thy fountains be dispersed abroad, and rivers of waters in the street. Let them be only thine own, and not strangers with thee. So this is our humbling ourselves and repenting, all right? Unlearning the ways of the Gentiles, coming back to our covenant that we have with a great spirit, okay? Which is the exact opposite of the wisdom of this world, okay? Because we did not have Gentile, uh tendencies okay we didn't have a gentile mentality like many of my people back then yeah they were acting like the heathens they were taking on the customs of the other nations we were instructed not to learn the ways of the heathen okay so understand we had to unlearn the ways of the heathen and come back to our power okay No, and not the stranger's way, all right? Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice uh, with the wife of thy youth, all right? Or rejoice with the original covenant that we had in the beginning with the Most High, okay? Because I'm married to the living power, okay? I, bro, I ain't about no superficiality, Okay? Um, now, bruh, his own iniquity shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be holding with the cords of his own sins, all right? Understand you're going to reap what you sow, all right? If you refuse to get the instruction, you refuse to reprove, you, you refuse to reprove by way of the spirit, you are going to die without the instruction, and in the greatness of your folly, you gonna be gone astray. Okay? Now, understand, people. You know, you, you need to ask yourself why are we told that colonization is no excuse for our impoverished circumstances when you invaded our land. 
and stole of our resources. And you're holding to all of our resources. And you're looking your nose down at us. Acting like we're lazy. Your people came over here with war dogs. And forced us to work for them. While they just sat back. Like fat cats. Okay, so we're not lazy. Alright, I have not been lazy. I have been working diligently. The work is on my channel. So I don't care what your people want to say. Why in the hell are we told that colonization is no excuse for our impoverished circumstances when this is our ancestral land? And all the resources of this land already belongs to us. Yet the great spirit allowed you to come over here and get up above us very high. And yeah, we came down very low because of our own iniquity. But those of us who've been obedient, we're instructed to speak. To give you a divine opportunity to humble yourself like a child. Unlearn the wisdom of this world. Relearn via the spirit of truth. You want to tell us that colonization ain't no excuse for our impoverished circumstances. As if it's not the very reason that you European nations and all nations of Psalms 83 have been on top of the economic system enjoying your blessing. Nah, you gonna have to humble yourself. You gonna have to unlearn the wisdom of this world. And relearn via the spirit of truth. You're going to have to accept the reproof. Of the spirit of truth. And you're going to have to take of your abundance. And become a righteous am. For his vine. Yes, because the most High allowed you to reap the blessings of Lucifer. Right, And the only way that you can overturn that is to utilize it for righteousness sake. A reproof entereth more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. Wow. Excellent speech becometh not a fool, much less do lying lips a prince. A gift is as a precious stone in the eyes of him that has it. Whithersoever it turneth, it prospereth. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love, but and when you cover your transgression, that means that you that you have repented and you're covering it by being by letting go of it. OK, you're not hiding it. All right. I don't like the way that they translated that. As a matter of fact, let's see. Proverbs 17, 9. Let's see what other versions they have of this. Uh, oh, okay, okay, like, so, um, love covereth, covereth a multitude of transgressions, that's another scripture that says that, okay, so I think that this is actually meaning that those of us who walk in love, um, we cover, hold on a second, a bribe is a charm to its giver, wherever he turns, he succeed. A bribe is a charm to ex giver. I don't know what that means. Hold on. Uh, whoever conceals an offense promotes love, but he who brings it up separates friends. Bro, what in the hell are they meaning by this? This doesn't make no damn sense. Like I know, like I know they polluted our scripture, but I want to see if I can get something out of this. Better a dry morsel in quietness. 
When the hell is this talking about, bro? One second. Mm. Reproof entereth more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. We gotta try to figure out what the hell this is saying, though. Especially for verse 9. Because that don't make sense. Hmm. And one servant will rule over a disgraceful son and share his inheritance as one of the brothers. Um. <clears throat> a wise servant will rule over a disgraceful son and we will do righteousness. That means we will share of our inheritance as one of the brothers. Okay? Because we don't cause people to suffer. Bruh. Everybody will have all of their bare necessities when the righteous is in rule. Alright? <laughs> when they pro oh my God. <laughs> when the righteous are in rule, the people are gonna rejoice. Okay, because they're, they're going to have what they need to sustain their damn lives. They're not going to be forced to do what they don't want to do just so that they can sustain their life. <laughs> um, the Most High don't test our hearts, but the Most High does view our hearts. All right. Do you know who does test our heart? The wicked, the wicked continuously test our heart, our patience, our temperance. Yes, the wicked do that. The most I don't test our heart, but he does watch our heart. He does observe our heart. A crucible for silver and a furnace for gold, but the most I watches our hearts. A wicked man listens to evil lips. See, all you people in your churches, many of you are wicked, okay? But there's a lot of you who are innocent, okay? And just been lulled by to sleep by Satan, okay? A liar gives ear to a destructive tongue, okay? I'm here looking for the righteous, all right? I'm here looking for those who love truth, okay? I've been fishing for a long time. Oh, man. Oh, man. That, <laughs> bruh, and I don't be trying to make these videos long, but, um, give me a second, because I got to use the restroom, but uh, I got to tell you that, you know, um, before I got on here today, you know, I, I did have, like, I'm trying to get to what I was trying to say, but I got to tell you why I was walking to the smoke shop, okay? Um, I had $2.28 left in pennies. And, uh, I had, I have $3, I had $3 in my PayPal. Now I needed $2. I need $2 for a bus ticket. So I only had a dollar to spare. All right. I had called last night to the smoke shop and, um, asked him how much for a pouch of tobacco. Cause you know, I, I can I completely forget. Wait a minute. They sell pouches. I probably should have went there instead of going up to this freaking hood store, you know, buying single cigarettes for 75 cent. All right. So anyway, last night I was told, uh, two ninety nine. So anyway, um, that's what I did this morning. And while I was, it was either while I was on my, I think it was while I was on the way back. Okay, while I was on the way back, I, you know, I'm always communing with the Most High, okay? I'm always talking with the Most High. I'm always in my conscience, okay? I'm always having these conversations in, in, my, in, in my head, in my, in, my, in my conscience, all right? But he gave me clarity on that scripture that my uncle had brought up to me uh, the last time that I spoke with him. The, my uncle had brought up um, how Jesus... Um, told one of the disciples to go get uh, money out of a fish's mouth, okay? One second. All right, so one second. Let me pull this up. I got to use the restroom, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this up right quick. Because, bruh, like, he gave me clarity on this, okay? He broke this down. Like, I, 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 it was by way of the Spirit. I'm like, you know, like... When 
I remembered that my uncle had said this, right? Because I was in my head communing with the father about how I've been out here giving these people your word. And so it's been like, I've been fishing, you know, for the ones, you know, for your kingdom, like, where are they? I've been fishing for them this whole dang time. You know, uh, where are the ams that I know you said that you were going to send in my life? Where are they? I know that there are some wise ones out there that have gotten the blessings of Lucifer, but love to want to get the truth, want to get the spiritual wealth. Where are they? You know, so then, uh, like I said, it was in my mind about, uh, what the, uh, what my uncle, what my uncle said about this here. All right. From others, Peter answered, then the sons are exempt. Jesus declared, but so that we may not offend them, go to the sea. Uh, he, like, you know how they polluted our scriptures, bruh. All right. We're not supposed to throw hooks into the freaking water and, and snatch out the water creatures. Okay. But they claim that the Messiah told um, Peter to do this. All right. They claim the Messiah told Peter to go to the sea, cast a hook and take the first fish you catch. All right. When you open his mouth, you will find the, the, uh, funds in there. Take it and give it to them for my tax and yours. Now, Christians take everything literally. All right. This is not literal people. And this is what he made me understand as I was walking back to my apartment. Um, this scripture was taken for one out of context and is seen as literal. Okay. It's not literal. See, he has us fishing. All right. So it is those who catch on to this word by way of the spirit that will assist. Okay. That's what this scripture means. All right. It don't literally mean to go get a freaking fishing hook and go to the sea and cast it in there claiming that we got faith that we going to catch a fish causing pain to the fish and open up the fish's mouth and there's money in it. Right? <laughs> like, Oh my God. Okay. No, we're supposed to be obedient and speak this word by the way of the spirit for the righteous Gentiles who have the blessing bag of Lucifer to hear this word by the way of the spirit, accept the reproof of the spirit of truth and be righteous. Utilize the blessing bag for righteousness sake. Okay. Thereby becoming a righteous am. Okay, that's what that scripture had meant. And so, anyway, that was upon my heart just now. Um, and, bruh, I don't even know how I got on that. Because we were we were on this, all right? Uh, a wicked man listens to evil lips. A liar gives ear to, dis to a destructive tongue, all right? Um, but those that are wise... Um, you, you going to hear this word via the spirit of truth, because you know that which I speak is true because you can look around in the, in the world that we're living in and see it. Okay. This is what we're instructed to do. Shine light on this gross darkness so that you can see the world that you really live in. All right. Um, oh my God. He who mocks the poor insults their maker. Whoever gloats over calamity, when you're gloating over my impoverished circumstances and my calamity, understand, people, you will not go unpunished. You are going to reap what you have been sowing against his people, especially those of us who have been awakened in the land of our captivity to give you this word. Woe be unto you. All right? So... You know, we're, we're taking it little bit by little bit. Eloquent words are unfit for a fool. How much worse are lying lips to a ruler? Now, see, this is where it begins to get a little confusing. A bribe is a charm to its giver. 
uh, wherever he turns, he succeeds. That don't make sense, okay? Because we're not supposed to be taking no bribes. We're not supposed to be bribing people. So what the hell? Uh, like, that doesn't make no sense whatsoever. Ain't nothing righteous about bribing people. Ain't nothing righteous about accepting bribes, okay? So how in the hell are they going to succeed every which way they turn? That's only for the time of the wicked, all right? This is what's been happening in this world. So that's the only way that it makes sense. You know, in this false-ass reality that we've been forced to live in, you know, um... Hold on, let me see if I can find an illustration. Uh, one second. Uh, one second. I gotta show you. Here it is. Thank you. So this is the world we've been living in. All right. Uh, bankers will ensure you stay in debt. Um, the pharmaceutical companies will ensure you stay sick. The religious institutions will ensure you stay spiritually blinded. The media will ensure they censor truth from you. The government will ensure all of this is done legally. Okay? So this is what we've been living in. Once you understand this, you can begin to unplug from this beast system which have been brought to you by Lucifer. Okay? So that's the only way... That that makes sense, okay? And they have been succeeding because they write the laws and the legislations, all right? They set themselves in authority, okay? Um, so, I'll, I'll, okay, so in this, whoever conceals an offense promotes love. Like, bro, wow, you know, this, this is how it's making sense to me because it's the world I've been forced to live in, all right? So, they promote this. God loves everybody. All right? Understand. Hold on. All right? And, and, you know, they're right in a way, but they don't serve my power. Okay? So, hold on a second. I'm trying to find another one that a little bit more accurately explains or, or uh, demonstrates what this, what I'm needing to convey. Okay, this, all right, I need this, all right? The way Christians explain how Christianity spread across the world, okay? They, they, they are portraying themselves um, to be benevolent. And like Christianity was spread in love, God loves everybody, you know, no matter who you are, and come as you are, and all of these things, love one another, but, bro, they, this is not what they did, okay? They didn't come over here spreading love, okay? They came over here raping, robbing, and murdering. What truly happened to the copper-colored original people who were reclassified as black and African-American, this is what these Christians came over here doing, okay? The Spaniards took babes from their mother's breast, grabbing them by their feet and smashing their heads against rocks. They built a long giblet, low enough for the, t for, for the toes to touch the ground and prevent strangling, and hanged 13 Indians at a time in honor of their Lord and Savior. Okay? The Antichrist, where well, they were mocking our Savior, they were mocking the, the, the promised anointed one, they were mocking the true Messiah, all right, though they had his name in their mouth, they were committing great atrocities, okay, I did oh my God, the true Messiah came here to demonstrate divine love, okay? He allowed these wicked people to torture and murder him. He did not even take away their free agency to perform the evil intentions of their heart against him. But now these wicked ass heathen get his name in their mouth, claiming 
that they are serving him, hanging alive, 13 of us at a time, in honor of the one that they are professing. And the 12 apostles, all right, in honor of him and the 12 apostles, okay? Then straw was wrapped around our torn bodies, and we were burned alive. This, this is what they did to spread their Christianity. As the Spaniards went with their war dogs, hunting down Indian men and women, it happened that a sick Indian woman who could not escape from the dogs sought to avoid being torn apart by them in this fashion. She took a cord and tied her year-old child to her leg. And then she hanged herself from a beam. But the dogs came and was, was tearing the child apart. But before the child expired, however, one of these Spaniards grabbed the child and baptized the child in water. Okay? In water. All right? So now... Y- you get religious ass people thinking that, you know, they're saved because they've been baptized and they've been dunked in the pool by wicked ass, by wicked ass pastor that's probably in all kinds of sexual immorality. You know, he's living by a heart of greed and selfishness, immorality. But because you were dunked in a pool by this charlatan, you think you're saved because you didn't confess with your mouth and you didn't believe with your heart that the Messiah came to the earth to be a blood sacrifice to cover your iniquity. You are deeply deceived. These people spread their Christianity by doing all kinds of atrocities to the indigenous people of all the lands that were allowed to be colonized by the great spirit. And now you want to say God loves everybody while you're holding on to all of our resources that are that that belong to us originally. We were able to freely use the resources of our land, don't you know, before it was invaded by the worst of the heathen. But now that you're holding on to all of our blessings that was stolen from us, you're holding on to all of it. And you want to proclaim out your mouth that God loves everybody. But you refuse to you you refuse to you know impart of any of your substance to those who look like this you know you treat us differently all of us that look like this you say out your mouth that God loves everybody but yet you don't treat us with the same love you don't treat us with the same love as you treat these people and all, and all these people, okay? See, you treat all these people, you know, the same. But from here on, we are not treated the same. You're only professing out your mouth that you love everybody and that your God loves everybody, okay? But your actions speak louder than your words, people. How the hell you gonna hold on to the blessing bag of Lucifer? And claim that you love us all the same. No, you don't. And you don't worship the true and living power. Yes, we are to love one another. But you are not walking in this. Instead, you've been deceived to love your money. And it's superficial, false-ass reality. All right, so that's how this scripture reads to me. 
okay? Because you, these people concealed their offense. They concealed what they did to us. One second. Yeah, they concealed what they did to us. That's not what I need, bro. I don't, know, I don't like me out, dude. Oh, yeah, that is what I need. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. I thought it was going somewhere else. All right. We hoped indeed to have been the head, but we have become the tail. We have been afflicted when we have exerted ourselves. So even when I was working your damn jobs, I was still being afflicted. I was still impoverished. I was still being scorned. I was still being hated. I was still being mistreated. I was still being downcast and all of these things. Even when we have exerted ourselves. But we have been devoured by sinners and the ungodly. Their yoke has been heavy upon us. Those have exercised dominion over us. Who detest and who gold us. I wonder what this word is. Provoke or annoy as to stimulate some action or reaction. Yeah, they do the most. They do the most to try to get an uprising out of us. Because they know that we're the holy people. So they provoke us to anger. They try to provoke us to anger. They try to provoke us to lash out against them. So it gives them justification. See, we knew that you were evil people. We knew that you were wicked. Goad. Yeah, they goad us. They detest and they goad us. And to those who hate us, we have humbled our neck. But they have shown no compassion toward us. Even us here with, we're literally here out of divine love. We don't hate you. We're not here hating on you. We're here giving you a divine opportunity to join the children of light. But yet, all of this time you have shown no compassion to us. We have been desirous of escaping from them. That we might fly away and be at rest. But we have found no place to which we could fly and be secure from them. We have sought an asylum with princes in our distress. And have cried out to those who were devouring us. But our cry has not been regarded. Nor have they been disposed to hear our voice. But rather to assist those who plunder and devour us. Those who diminish us and hide their oppression. Who remove not their yoke from us, but devour, enervate, and slay us. Let's find out what this word is. To lessen the vitality or strength of. How do you do that? Because we, what can we do when we don't have what you have established as the God of this, the, the world? If we don't have money, 
Don't you think that we are lessened in this, in our strength? Okay? I mean, you, like everything has a freaking value upon it. We can't do anything without money in this false ass reality that has been built upon indigenous land. We we were able to grow fields. We were growing fields of tobacco. We were growing fields of cannabis. We had our own businesses. We had our own establishments. We were governing ourselves. All of these things we had in our own damn land before the worst of the heathen came over here and invaded and took it all from us and established their system of economic slavery. So now, this is how they weaken us. They lessen our vitality. They take away our strength. Because what can we do without what they have established as the currency for us to do anything? We can't have a roof over our head without money. We can't have water without money. I'm surprised that we can breathe the freaking air without having to freaking pay for it. And they slay us. They conceal our slaughter. And they refuse to remember that they have lifted up their hands against us. Want to continue to ignore colonization. And literally guys like us, like we are the problem. Why can't you niggas get with the system? Oh, you're hateful. Oh, you're racist. I'm racist? I'm hateful? You're on my ancestral land and you're oppressing me. And you want to regulate it as complaining. As if I don't have the right to speak out for freedom and happiness. As as if I don't have the right to not be oppressed by you. As if I don't have the right to not be in a system of tyranny. Like I should be happy with your oppression. Like I should be happy up under subjection to the worst of the heathen. So, yeah. Whoever conceals an offense and promotes love, this is what they did. But he who brings it up separates friends. Yeah. You know, the fact that I speak out on this, people have departed. People have scattered like roaches. Like, damn, are you serious? So you all going to abandon me because I'm trying, I'm shining light on a true problem? A rebuke. Cuts a man of discernment deeper than a hundred lashes cuts a fool. See, when I was rebuked, bruh, and I, I have discernment, so it cut deep. You know, I, I, um, the most I use Elder Dimitri a lot for me, okay? Uh, not just Elder Dimitri, but let me show you some other, uh, this other brother, the first one. Okay, I'm flowing by way of spirit. Let me check my time real quick. We're going on two hours, people, and I'm literally flowing here. All right, <clears throat> um, I gotta try to remember his name. But the way that this brother uh, does it, the, like his videos, I'm, I'm gonna play a little bit of it so you can see, you know. And then, and when I when I came across his channel by way of the spirit, um. 
understand that, you know, he, the way he speaks, bro, he speaks by way of the spirit. It, he speaks by the spirit of truth, okay? Um, let's see. Bro, come on. <laughs> what in the hell? I'm like, I don't know if I can find it. It would be hard to find. Oh, you know what? Thank you, Father. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, let's see. How do, oh, just go to my channel. Okay, I know how to find it. Because I, I put it here. Ch okay, this is his channel right here. Alright. Now, um, you have two gods in the Bible, blood, guilt, okay? Like, he, like, bro. Alright, uh, let me see here. I forget which video I first watched. But this was one of the brothers that I received, uh, I had got, I had gotten cut, okay? I was cut deep with that sword of the spirit, all right? But I did not run from it, okay? I didn't run from it. This as a mighty spring, verse 25. Have you offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness 40 years, O house of Israel? So, we're going to go through some PowerPoints to give a clean breakdown of this scripture. Now, most Hebrew Israelites, when they use this scripture, they use the scripture in the light of the pagan holidays, so as Christmas, Easter, 4th of July, and every other abominable day that Babylon has set up. But I'm going to show you in light of this scripture that it was not talking about that. That's from a lower understanding. It was addressed to the Israelites. It was addressed to their solemn assemblies. Okay. It was addressed to their meetings. It was addressed to their feast days. As the Most High said he is not accepting. Okay. Then he poses a question at the end. All right. He says, did the children of Israel offer to him burnt offering and sacrifices the 40 years that they was in the wilderness? He poses a question. And so we're going to see what is the answer to that question since the question was posed by the Most High because most people can't perceive the answer to this question. But we're going to get deeper into it and we're going to look deep into this particular analogy. So today you're gonna to need your Scrum's Concordance because we're gonna be doing word etymology and getting to the key root of each word, which is keyword study. Through keyword study, your knowledge shall be enhanced. Through keyword studying, your understanding shall be greatened. So we're gonna get the best understanding we could out of these particular verses. So, now, the question that was posed, did the children of Israel offer sacrifice and burnt offering to the most high power the 40 years they was in the wilderness? Let's take a look at that and let's see did they offer it to the most high power, okay? We're going to go to Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 18. The book of Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 18. And that question that was posed, we're going to let the scriptures answer it itself because as the scriptures say that the most high power be the truth and every man that speaketh not according to the words of righteousness a liar so once again Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 18 and it reads yea when they had made them a molten calf and said this is thy God that brought thee out of the land of Egypt and had wrought great provocations. Yet thou in thy manifold mercies forsook them not in the wilderness. The pillar of cloud departed not from them by day to lead them in the way, neither the pillar of fire by night to show them the light in the way wherein they should go. So we see right here that they was offering sacrifices to a golden calf, a molten calf, Moloch, tuning, okay, the star that you have made to your own God. According to Amos chapter 5, verse 21, 
you have made a star to your own God, Moloch, and Chuni, which people call the star of David, okay? But really, it's the star of Megan David, all right? Amalek, it is not the star of David. David did not testify not one time according to people wearing a star. So you Hebrew Israelites out there with the star of Moloch on and the star of David out there screaming the law of Moses, you need to take off that star and repent, okay? The children of light deliver this word by the way of the spirit. Okay? Now, uh, there's another one. There's another brother. And this is an elder. Okay? Let me see if I can go back. Uh, stop that. Oh, man. Welcome to my life. Life. Which I'm gonna record. Okay, bro. This is it's being stupid. Hold on a second. I mean, I was trying to do it easier and just go back, but it's tripping. You know, all right. <laughs> so one second. I'm trying to bring up the elder that um I was led to his channel. I was actually led to him on Facebook. Um, and I was able to accept all of the reproof by the spirit of truth. Okay, and you have to accept the reproof by the spirit of truth. All right, in order to elevate in the spirit and in truth. All right, and the Most High uses the children of light. The Most well, the Most High uses His servants. Okay, um, and that's this brother here. This is the elder. All right. Um, let's see. Videos. All right. One second. Let's see what I can find. Uh, let's see. I'm in love with a demon part two. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, I'm trying to find one of the ones that uh, cut me. Okay, so that's what that's what I'm um, looking for. All right, one second. Uh, let's see, one second, people. I'm trying to get it. The evil that men do. Porn on my Facebook really love truth redemption and righteousness versus religion. I was I by this time he, like I had accepted a whole lot of reproof, okay? I'm trying I'm scrolling. Um I'm trying to get to one that he he was reproving based upon the re, uh the um holidays. Um let me see. Let me see if I can search. Cause I learned a lot from him, and and he was the one uh, like hold on. Let's see. Okay, one second. Uh, <clears throat> oh, here we go. This right here. Oh my gosh. Bro, I was cut so deep. I was cut so deep with this message. All right, and I think I had I had watched this message on Facebook. All right, so one second, let me see, let me get into it. Uh, <laughs> bro, we coming out the mud. Interpret scripture. I spoke to a couple of young kings yesterday. Because one of them had put a post on there that said, I pray to the most high that all of y'all that's eating the Thanksgiving turkey choke and die on it. <laughs> I said, really? I said, young king, you better be careful what you let come out of your mouth. Because what if it's one of the people that you love in your life that have not come into that truth? What if one of them, what if you get the news that one of them just choked at the dinner table and then died? I said, that will haunt you for the rest of your life. I said, what if the Most High would have allowed you to choke on a piece of turkey last year before you came to know truth? 
What if you'd allow that to happen to you and you die? You see, these are the type of things that are going on with our brothers and sisters. We are choosing mediocre, minimal things that have absolutely no bearing on the life moving into a place of righteousness in the eyes of the Most High. You tell me how much more righteousness have been added to anybody's life because they don't cook a turkey on the day that somebody else called Thanksgiving. How much righteousness have been added? What's the difference between celebrating a holiday and cooking a turkey and eating it and then the very next day turning around and consuming the same death in the guise of a steak? or a pork chop, or whatever it is that you're going to put on your stove and cook. What is the difference? Because you're still consuming death. Only one is far worse than the other. See, one man do what he do because he don't know no better. And the other, he do what he do because he reject what he do know. So while a brother might be talking about somebody celebrating Thanksgiving and choking on a Thanksgiving turkey, he don't have the sense enough to understand or look at himself and realize I might not celebrate Thanksgiving and I might not choke on the turkey, but I just went to the grocery store and pulled off one of the most high sacred creations, one of his animals, and I just kept, uh, put that in a skillet and cooked it and put on my plate and I consumed it and I understand not that I am a consumer of death. He that consumes death things, his blood shall, come to, shall turn to poison. His bones shall, shall turn to chalk. Through his ears shall come a waxy substance and his eyes will scale. His mind will be darkened because he don't understand that you can't consume death and still live in the way that the Most High meant for you to live. You see, the things that our brothers and sisters choose to look at are not the things that are directly pertaining to the sins against the Most High in their own life. They are pertaining to the things that their brothers and sisters are doing, which are outside of them. And ain't nothing that nobody doing outside of your life can have no impact on your life. The only way the word can have impact on your life is when it is put in your life. But the brothers and the sisters that are so busy looking at what other people are doing, it comes as a telltale sign that they are the ones that's in trouble. Henceforth, here is your holiday message. Because the same way, you see, the most high ain't mocked. When he say with what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. This is where these videos keep coming from. Because the same intensity that brothers are using these holidays to assault their loved ones and people that are still lost, that's the same intensity and zeal that the Most High will put his spirit on a man to come out after them that are doing the same thing and pull all the cover off of them like they trying to do with their brothers. Well, this is, bruh. And you see that you see this was four years ago, okay? This was 2019, all right? Um, let's see, September, October, no, this was three months. See, this this elder right here, uh, he's the one that the Most High used in order to wake my ass up from eating dead bodies, okay? This like that's why I always love Elder, bro, because he was obedient to the spirit of truth and spoke that living word by the way of the spirit. And I had the ears to hear and I repented. All right. And then this message cut me again because it was dealing with a holiday and how I was acting, you know, toward my family. Now, I never said that, you know, I hope one of my I hope those that are you know, eating turkey on Thanksgiving, choke on the turkey and die. I ain't never said that. <clears throat> but, um, still yet, I have other videos where I talk about how, you know, I will write a long-ass freaking paragraph, you know, declining, you know, fellowship with my family when they would invite me, okay? And so, yes, this elder here uh, brought that spirit of truth, you know, and um, that whole rebuke. All right, at me, you know, well, not it wasn't directed towards me, but you know, it was because the, the shoe fit, the, the, the shoe fit, okay, the shoe fit me 
because, bruh, um, I was in a, a dogmatic belief system about the holidays. And, and no, we're not, we're not really supposed to be celebrating these holidays, okay? But that don't mean that we should look down on others for being in ignorance and not having come into the knowledge, okay? So I had to humble myself. All right, I was puffed up in my pride and my arrogance, and the most I used this elder to humble me a hell of a lot, okay? I was humbled by way of the spirit of truth, and I was able to accept the reproof that this willing vessel was bringing, okay? And I, I literally ate, I ate a lot of this spiritual wealth. You've seen how many videos was on, on this channel, okay? You seen how many videos was on this channel? Uh, let's see, yeah, 975 videos. Okay, um, and you know, eight years ago, <laughs> like, bro, um, yes, I, I didn't know him back back then, you know, um, but he grew a lot too. See, and the ones that the father uses, um, understand that you know. We, we still continuously grow and elevate in a spirit and, and in truth. We don't stay stagnant, all right? Um, so, you see, I watch this one. Shalom, saints. Good afternoon. Peace. Uh, whatever you guys want to say, however you want to call it. I, uh... Got some scriptures I want to look at right now. I want to speak to some of my brothers and sisters. Uh, no matter what walk of life you come from, uh, these videos are not, uh, so to say, religious specific. I believe that all men can learn something from everybody, no matter what it is that you believe. But in this particular case, I am not dealing with no Israelite doctrine. And I'm not dealing with no camp doctrine. Or we're not dealing with no Christian doctrine uh, or no type of theology whatsoever. What we want to do is we want to try and realign our focus uh, back to where it's supposed to be, to where we can recognize and see the awesome power and majesty of the Most High and how he operates. Because men seem to think that they have the Father figured out. But we come to serve notice on you today that the Father is beyond figuring out. He is beyond figuring out. Beyond comprehension. And so the only thing that we can do is we can strive to find ourselves in the place where we search for the things that are dear to the Father. And then allow those things to become dear to us. What is the greatest thing that we have? But there's always process to accomplish anything that we seek to do. And that is what we're going to do is we're going to look at we're going to look at that, the process, okay? Now, <clears throat> so you see, what will you give in exchange for your soul, all right? Now, this was a deep message, and I, I enjoyed it. As you can see, I left a message. I really needed this. Thanks, Elder, and put a heart, all right? So anyway, I, I brought these up. Because, bruh, these are the brothers that I was able to accept the reproof um, from, okay? I was able to accept the reproof via the spirit of truth, all right? So, and then when you speak via the spirit of truth, um, it, it will, you know, um, because the uh, word is sharper than any two-edged sword. Hold on. One second. My computer lagging. One second. All right. So the word of the Most High is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit 
of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Okay? So, that being said, um, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt. Okay? Uh, a, re, a rebuke cuts a man of discernment deeper than a hundred lashes cut into a fool. All right? So, you know, now that this truth is going forth, all right, it's cutting the fools, you know, but they, they're fools, okay? They ain't got no discernment, all right? Um, or actually, no, it, like they're not accepting the spirit of truth. So it's, you, even though it's cutting them, uh, they're being lashed by Satan, okay? They're being lashed by Satan, um, even though they do hear the spirit of truth, they can't comprehend it. All right. So, you know, it does cut them though still yet, but bruh, like, I don't really know how to explain this. All right. Then a hundred lashes cut, cut into a fool. Okay. Rebuke cuts into a man of discernment deeper. All right. So it's, it cuts us deeper. All right. Those of us who have discernment. All right. It cuts us deep enough to where we will freaking you know, change, but these that are fools, you know, they get cut and they just keep blowing it off, you know, and, and they sear their conscience with a hot iron. All right. An evil man seeks only rebellion. Okay. A cruel messenger will be sent against him. Uh, so that we're, we're not cruel, but our delivery may seem like it comes across cruel, all right? The first, the, them two brothers that I just showed you, the first one and elder, all right, um, and myself, the way that we speak, when we speak the living word by the way of the spirit, it comes across uh, what would be considered to be cruel, all right? Let me show you. One second. Find it. Alright. Alright. See, you see how it comes across, alright? This is, Nephi is breaking this down and, and explaining, all right? He's telling people, rebel no more against your brother whose views have been glorious and who has kept the commandments from the time that we have been reproved and accepted the spirit of truth, okay? And who are an instrument in the hands of the Most High in bringing forth unto us and bringing us forth into the truth of the Most High, okay? For if it were not for us, uh, you would perish, all right? You would perish in hunger in the wilderness, all right? Nevertheless, you seek to cause suffering. You seek to take away our life, okay? You seek to make us suffer, right? And yeah, he has suffered much sorrow because of your hard hearts. All right. And Nephi says, I exceedingly fear and tremble because of you, lest he shall suffer again. Okay. For behold, you have accused him that he sought power and authority over you. But I know that he has not sought for any power nor authority over you. But he has sought the glory of the Most High and your own eternal welfare. I am not here for my health. I'm here to help you because it's burning in my soul to do what I'm doing. And you have murmured because we have been plain unto you. You say that we have used sharpness. You say that we have been angry with you. But behold, our sharpness is the sharpness of the power of the word of the Most High. 
which is in us. And that which you call anger is the truth according to that which is in the Most High, which we cannot restrain, manifesting boldly concerning your iniquities. And it must needs be that the power of the Most High must be with us, even unto instructing you that you must obey. But behold, it is not us, but it is the Spirit of the Most High which is in us, which opened up our mouth to utterance that we cannot shut it. All right? So that's why we're here. All right? Because you people have been living in freaking Pleasure Island. And you have been rebellious to the eternal law of love. Therefore, you have caused oppression upon all humanity and all creation. Therefore, he rose up his ones, his hidden ones, that are bitter truth. Okay? We don't, we, we don't speak sweet nothings in your ear. We don't tell you what the hell you want to hear. We speak by way of the Spirit. Okay? For all you people over here in Pleasure Island. And you keep casting us off as if we're nothing. But we're not cruel. We're just real with this truth. It is better to meet a bear robbed of her cubs than the fool in his folly. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know how a, a mama bear gonna be acting um, if her cubs are robbed? I understand that, uh... <laughs> Bruh. You are gonna reap great destruction. The fools are gonna reap great destruction. Alright? If anyone returns evil for good, all right, because that's what you're doing. I'm here out of divine love, but yet I've received a whole bunch of evil from people, evil mistreatment, all right? You are returning evil for my good that I'm doing, all right? Understand that evil will never leave your house. All right, because that's what you're operating in. You're operating in the negative energy against divine love. All right, so, bruh. Mm. Oh, man. So, this is what your people have been doing. You've been acquitting the guilty, all right, because you do not want to deal. Hold on. You don't want to deal with this. You don't want to deal with this, all right? You don't want to deal with the fact that the Europeans found us here and, you know, raped, robbed, and murdered and literally just plundered all of our resources, stole it for themselves, and then placed us up under subjection with their economic system, okay? You don't want to deal with this. You acquit these people, okay? You obey these people, you acquit them, you, you know, you you glorify them, all right? Yes, you do, okay? You don't want to deal with what they did, okay? So you're acquitting the guilty, and you are condemning the righteous, all right? Both of you, all of you who are acquitting the guilty, even if you're not condemning me, but you, you are disregarding colonization. You're disregarding the papal pools. You're disregarding the doctrine of discovery. You're disregarding manifested destiny. All right? So you are quitting the guilty. All right? You are detestable to the Most High. And all of you who are condemning those of us who are righteous, you are detestable to the Most High. But these days... A whole bunch of people are doing both of these at the same time. 
Understand that you are detestable. You are abominable to the great spirit. All right? Your actions are abominable to the great spirit. Your actions, your mistreatment, all these things that you are doing to his people is abominable in his sight. So you may as well take his name out your mouth. Okay? You may as well just be a Satanist. Okay? You may as well just be an atheist. Okay? Hmm. Why should the fool have money in his hand with no intention of buying wisdom? This ain't for sale, but you need to become a righteous am if you have reaped the blessing bag of Lucifer. Otherwise, you are a fool and you are going to perish. Okay? Now, uh, the one with a perverse heart finds no good. Okay? This is it's like I'm surrounded by people with perverse hearts because they they can't see any good in what I've been given to give. All right. And he whose tongue is deceitful falls into trouble. All right. A wicked man takes a covert bribe to subvert the course of justice. Mm, mm, mm. Wisdom is the focus of the discerning, but the eyes of a fool wander to the ends of the earth. It is surely not good to punish the innocent or to flog a noble for his honesty. All of these scriptures, people, you are, you are, you are, your life and everything that you are doing, all your actions is contrary to all of this wisdom in the scriptures that I've been instructed to give to you. And many of these things I have never read before now. You people have been punishing me because I refuse to earn money. You want to flog me for my honesty. I know you don't view me as a noble. You view me as despicable. I realize that. And I'm okay with that. Because the wisdom of this world is foolishness to the power that I serve. Hmm. Okay. So, we got all of that, and we broke that down, okay? We broke that down. Now, mm, let me check my time, people. We're at two hours. Um, I, want, I, I really want to um, get through the rest of what I had here, uh, this reproof. All right. Um, I don't think we have too much more, so I'm gonna try to get through it. I don't want my video to get to three hours. Um, but bruh, let me see. What is like? I might be able to do one more. We'll have to see. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Proverbs ten seventeen. He is in the way of life that keepeth instruction. But he that refuse, refuses reproof errors, okay, you, you are in error, okay, because you are refusing the reproof by way of the spirit, okay? Wise men lay up knowledge, not save money in bank accounts, in savings accounts, okay? You are not wise. All of you working and saving your money, you're not wise. You're not laying up treasures in the kingdom of heaven. You're not laying up for yourselves that which is good. No, you're laying up for yourselves fool's gold. And the Messiah told you to store not up for yourself treasures upon the earth where moth and rust does corrupt. All right? But, st but store up a spiritual treasure. All right?
Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on, on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven that is spiritual wealth, okay? That is the fruits of the Spirit, okay? Where neither moth nor rust, nor rust does destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. Okay, can't nobody steal the fruits of the spirit from you. Okay, (laughs) can't nobody steal spiritual wealth from you. All right, that that's what you should be laying up for yourselves. Okay, for where your treasure is, my treasure is in the spiritual wealth. My treasure is in the fruits of the spirit. So that's where my heart is. Okay. But people want to be mad at me that I ain't got a heart after money. And you want to punish me because of it. You want to punish me. You know? Like, that's unwise. Alright, did I close it out? Hold on a second. All right, so yes, wise men lay up spiritual wealth and knowledge, the oracles of the Most High. But the mouth of a foolish, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. All right, all of you who want to put your mouth on me in your ignorance, because you refuse to get to truly know me, all of you speaking out against me, you don't even really know me. All right, you're on surface level, trying to judge the package of the messenger, refusing to get the message. Your destruction is near. Wow. The rich man's wealth is his strong city. But when you destroy the poor, it's going to become your poverty, all right? When you increase the destruction upon the poor, it's going to become your poverty because you're going to reap what you sow, all right? The labor of the righteous leadeth to life, okay? Yes, our labor is going to lead to life, all right? The fruit of the wicked, all you wicked people, all you... all The fruit of the wicked... Is what is is what you do to get your money, okay? The, the wicked things that you do to get your money, all right? Now, not all of you are doing wicked things in order to get your money, all right? But when you ain't got no love in your heart, no compassion, no mercy, no kindness, no empathy, none of that, and you hoard your money from the righteous that are in need, understand that you're doing wickedness, Okay? And that is a wicked fruit. That's an evil fruit. All right? And you are sinning. All right? He is in the way of life that keepeth instruction. But when you refuse reproof, you are in error. He that hideth hatred with lying lips... And he that uttereth a slander is a fool. All right. The tongue of the just is as choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. So all of you with a heart after money, you are of little worth. And you are about to be for stubble. Okay? He that refuses instruction despises his own soul. You hate yourself. You despise your own soul. But he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. Okay? I'm here to give you all of this clarity by way of the Spirit. All right? The Most High is far from the wicked, okay? But he heareth the prayer of us righteous, okay? The light of his 
the light of the eyes rejoice rejoices the heart the light of the eyes rejoices the heart and a good report make it the bones fat okay the ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise where are you that have the ears to hear the reproof of life so that you can cleave to the children of light abiding among the wise why am I surrounded by all these people who refuse instruction, who despise their own soul? Where are the people that can have the ears to hear, to receive the reproof and get the understanding and the clarity of the life that we've been forced to live in? Where are you? The reverence of the Most High is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility. Okay? Before he honors us, before he glorifies us, we have to be humble. All right? And the whole world knows that we're humble. Okay? Oh, people can say what the hell they want to say all they want. All right? But people know that I am a thing of naught. And when you are a thing of naught, you are not puffed up in pride and arrogance. You're not haughty. Being a thing of naught is the opposite of that. All right, a thing or a person of no worth or value. So if this is how I am being seen, how in the hell am I in arrogance? Now see, I've been humbled by this world. This world has diminished me. And when the world diminishes you, you you're not on a pedestal, okay? No, you're the scum of the earth. I am the scum of the earth. Therefore, that is the opposite of being prideful and in arrogance. Okay? All right, not definition. All right, what the hell, bro? Come on. Okay, nothing. All right. So I'm looked at as nothing. So, you know, clearly, you know, let's see, look at the source. All right. mm -hmm. You know, zero, zilch, all right, nothing, okay? Um, where's the synonyms? I don't really like this. Where's the synonyms? Uh... Why don't or where where's the antonyms? I meant, where's the antonyms? I meant the the source, but where is the antonyms? See all example, not really sentences. I don't want sentences. Mm. All right, being something, okay? The celebrity, approval, okay? Um, so you see, I am the opposite of this, okay? I have been debased, okay? So clearly, I am not arrogant. All right? When you're debased, you're reduced in quality or value, okay? All right, so they look at me like I'm immoral, all right? But clearly, I'm not immoral, all right? They have abandoned me. They speak negative things upon me. That ain't true. 
reduce something in quantity or value, degrade, devalue, okay? Lower the status of, all right? This is how I am looked at, okay? So clearly I am not arrogant, Opposite of the base would be praised, glorified, put on a pedestal. Demean. See, all my life, my family demeaned me. Okay? All my life, my family, my family has dishonored, humiliated, demoralized. All right? Cheapened. All, this has been my life. Okay? All my life. As a matter of fact, thank you, Father, for putting that upon my spirit. You know what, bro? Because, you know, it's flowing this way, but I really don't want to go over freaking, um, no, three hours. I don't want to get to three hours. All right? I really don't want to get to three hours. But I got to I gotta uh, show you something on my Facebook. Because I'm talking about my family and how my family has treated me my whole life, okay? It's important that you people understand who I am, okay? Hmm. All right. So... If you have to sacrifice your voice to, quote, keep the peace, it's no longer peaceful. Instead, you're internalizing the chaos instead. So this was my life. I was forced to internalize the chaos, okay? And then people wondered why I explode, all right? I was the type that would go from zero to 100 because I was being forced all my life by my family to internalize the chaos instead of speak, okay? But this is what my family did to me. <clears throat> so <clears throat> this is what, and, and to this day, this is, why, this is why they don't talk to me. I'm ostracized from my family. I am ostracized from my family because to this day, this is what my family expects of me whenever I'm in their presence. They want, they want to be comfortable in the reality that we have all been presented. This is why they try to force me to accept their false reality as if it's real. Whenever I brought attention to the problems of this world slash society, they regulated it as complaining, quote unquote, about my life or even life in general. They want to believe that this, quote, life came from, quote, God. The problem is they don't want to truly know what God it's easier for them to believe that the eternal living God ordained slash sanctioned this reality slash life. Therefore, whenever I'd voice my issues about oppression within this reality, they took it as if I was rebelling and complaining against the Almighty who gave us life. I was never rebelling against my maker. I was rebelling against the adversary and this satanic ass system. But because they could never see the true reality, they began to silence me. I've been given the clarity and the understanding of the true reality We've all been forced to live in. All right? Because back when they were, see, before I got the clarity and the understanding, you know, they gaslighted me. All right? 
Um, they were very narcissistic, okay, and mistreated me, all right? But after I received the clarity and the understanding of this reality that I know I'm being forced to live in, this helped me with being empathetic and compassionate, long-suffering their mistreatment, okay? Because before, you know, when I was in ignorance, not having any understanding, I would blow up, okay? I would rage out, all right? And so they would demonize me even more, okay? It added fuel to the fire because, bro, I knew I was being mistreated, but I didn't understand why I was being mistreated, okay? But now I understand why I was being mistreated, all right? And it helps me with being empathetic and compassionate. And to it helps me deal with the long-suffering. <clears throat> okay? I constantly forgive them, for they know not what they do. I know what they're doing now. All right? But back then, I didn't understand. Okay? Um, I didn't understand gaslighting. I had no... I never heard that term before I, I came into the clarity and the understanding. Okay? I didn't know anything about narcissism. Okay, I didn't know anything about that, but now I do, all right? They are under great deception, and they choose to remain oblivious out of fear. See, the most high, un he gave me the clarity and the understanding about my family, you know, that they are in fear, all right? They're, they're in a fear-based religion, okay? The core belief system that they're holding to, all right, um, they won't let go of it because they are afraid, all right, this fear was instilled into them via religion, they're holding on to a core belief system as if that's their salvation, they cannot allow themselves to even hear any information outside of their religion, deep down they're scared to let go of their religion, which has actually been reclassified these days as quote faith because they believe it will damn them to the lake of fire hell all right all right it, and and it's because they believe it would not not that it's being reclassified as faith it's just the fact that relig they no longer refer most christians most Christians find it offensive when you tell them that they are in a religion, a dogmatic, you know, religion, all right? They take offense to that, and they say, no, it's not a religion, you know, it's a relationship. <laughs> it's a relationship. It's not a religion, it's a relationship. And and they say, it's, 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 not, it's not the fact that, you know, we're, we're in a religion, we just, we, we have faith, it's our faith. All right, but it's really a blind deception. It ain't faith, okay? Um, but anyway, they they seriously think that if they let go of their faith, quote unquote, then they're gonna burn in a lake of fire, hell, like a literal lake of fire. All right, this is what they're picturing in their mind, okay? Not understanding that that ideology came from the Roman Catholic Church, okay? It's not literal. All right. Um, what they've been taught to believe is not, quote, faith. It's blind deception. Yes, Satan is a very crafty deceiver. He masquerades as an angel of light, leading billions of people to great destruction. All right. We can look around in the world that we're living in and see it. People are destroyed physically, mentally, and spiritually. Physically, health issues at an all-time high. Fast food restaurants all over the place selling the dead, mutilated body parts of innocent animals. Literally destroying our physical bodies. But it is seen as, quote, normal within this society. Mentally, people think it's, quote, normal life. Pain to live upon the earth in which we were all born on. Most people can't phantom life outside of, quote, unquote, working jobs for a living. You're paying people who stole the land and all the resources. Wh why are you giving these people homage? Like, wh why are you complacent with paying these people who stole every damn thing? 
but want to scorn me for speaking the truth about these things. Spiritually, our divine connection to the infinite energy source of love, life, and all things good has been replaced with religion, dogmatic belief systems, now classified as faith, classified as a relationship. But you got a relationship with the adversary. For you do not know the one that you are professing that you serve. The great deception of religion is to convince people that they are not accountable for their own actions because, quote, no one is perfect, which is why we needed a redeemer to absolve us of our sins. You have been deeply deceived, for we are all going to reap what we sow. All these things contribute to who people are. It contributes to your perception, okay? It contributes to your reality. It is your core beliefs and all of these things contribute to who you are as a person, okay? It contributes to who you become, all right? But some of us overcome the deception, okay? But most people conform to the deception, and because they conform, they want to force everybody else to conform. But because I could never fully conform, I'm considered to be the, quote, problem. Clearly, I am not the problem. I am part of the solution. I'm here to do my due diligence in ushering in the righteous kingdom. Yes, I'm here to bring the true reality and expose the false reality. And this is why my family and most people have ostracized me. Teary-eyed. Yeah, I'm teary-eyed, bro. Because it makes no sense whatsoever why you wicked people continuously hate the righteous. Well, it makes sense why the wicked hate the righteous, but it makes no sense why you who say you are righteous hate those of us who are really righteous. Okay? So, yeah. I have a lot of sorrow, people. I have a life of sorrow. All right? <laughs> you know, man of sorrow, that, that freaking... Oh, my God. Hold on. Now I don't I don't really know all the lyrics to it. <laughs> uh let's see. Yeah, I'm in sorrow. Man of sorrow. Uh, and this the one freaking movie. I wanna I wanted to hear it from them. Um Man of Sorrow is a movie. Uh, oh, brother, where art thou? Yes, this. Man of sorry, oh, brother, where art thou? That's what I need. One second, people. And then with this, we're going to wrap this up. We, we're going to, uh, I'm going to have to come back and finish up the reproof, okay? If I'm allowed to um, play this, uh, hopefully I can. Um, I don't want them to take down my video, but this is strictly because it was upon my spirit. All right, um, bro, hold on. I want them to get to singing. I just want to, I just want them to sing the song. I want them to sing the song. That's all I want.
Negroes. I'll accept our companies. I seriously resonated with that movie, okay? I'm not going to play no more because I don't want them to strike my channel with that, all right? So anyway, bro, I am seen as this, okay? So I am not arrogant. I'm not puffed up in pride, okay? Understand. Um, you've been, uh, many of you have been deeply deceived, okay? Now, um, bruh... <laughs> This is two hours and 35 minutes. I didn't plan um, all of that, bro, but I got, I've got, I got to flow by way of the spirit, okay? Um, let's see. Let me see how much more. You know, because I think this is... Hold on here. This is my computer tripping, too. Hold on. Yeah, I don't want to start up a new video, people. I really don't because it's late and I need to rest, all right? I honestly need to rest. So I'm going to finish up this reproof right now, all right? Hopefully this does not go over three hours, all right? I'm going to try to make it quick because we're almost done with it, all right? Um, <clears throat> so we went over that. Now... Proverbs 15.10, correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Okay? Understand what's coming for you people. All right? When you hate this, this reproof, because we're here because we have been instructed to be here for you. All right? And you reject what we have been instructed to give to you, you are about to die. Okay? Mm-hmm. Hell and destruction are before the Most High. How much more than the hearts of the children of men? All right, because we have an option. He's like, I set before you life and death. Now choose life so that you and your children may live. Okay? <clears throat> we have free agency to choose for ourselves how we live our life. All right? A scorner loveth not one that reproveth him. Okay? A scorner loveth not one that reproveth him. Neither will he go unto the wise. Okay? But why am I surrounded by these people? Like, where are the people who are seeking the oracles? Like, bruh. <laughs> like, goodness sakes. Okay? Mm, mm, mm. Ah, oh, bruh. I long for the day that people will grasp on to this truth. Okay? Now, Proverbs fifteen thirty one: The ear that heareth reproof of life abideth among the wise. Where are you that will have the ears to hear the reproof of life, so that you will cleave to the children of light? And abide amongst the wise of us. Okay? Because we are the ones that were prophesied um, to be here for you. Okay? Yes. Alright? We're the ones that were prophesied to be here for you. Alright? And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. All right? We are at the end. He says, shut up the words and seal the book to the time of the end. Well, because we're at the end, knowledge is being increased. And we are speaking this word by the way of the spirit. Okay? We were given the sealed books that's unsealed now. Okay? 
So we've been going forth with this truth by the spirit of truth. Okay? And we're and we, we're seeking for you. We're seeking for those of you who will have the ears to hear the reproof of life. And abide with us. <coughs> abide with us. Cleave to the children of light. All right, understand. Proverbs 13, 18. Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction. But he that regardeth reproof shall be honored. So you that have the blessing bag of Lucifer, hear these words. Hold on to your blessing bag of Lucifer. You are going to reap poverty and shame. But all of you that will choose to regard this reproof, you will be honored. You will be numbered amongst his people. Understand, people, Proverbs 29, 7, the righteous, if you are righteous, if you are a righteous am, then you will consider the cause of the poor. But the wicked, if you are wicked, you will have no regard for such concerns. Okay? This is the separation of the wheat and tares. Yeah, it's the separation of the sheep from the goats. Okay? 2 Timothy 3.16 No, not all written words in the pages of a physical book is given by the inspiration of the Most High. But that living word via the spirit of truth is given by inspiration of the Most High. And it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. We are able to rightly divide the word of truth. Those of us, hold on. Hold on. This is the one I need. All right. Be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed. Those of us who have been transformed by the renewing of our mind. Okay. That way we're not conformed to this world. Okay. We are the ones. We are the ones that may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of the Most High. Okay? Yes. We're the ones, those of us that ain't conformed to this world. Okay? We're the ones that can rightly divide the word of truth. All right, we're the ones that study to show ourselves approved unto the Most High as his workmen that needeth not be ashamed. We rightly divide the word of truth because that whole book ain't the truth. But we shun profane and vain babblings. We do not accept the perversion of Satan. The corruption that they've done in the written word, in a physical book. All right. You need to be with the ones that are able to rightly divide the word of truth. Okay. Last one, people. And then I'm going to get up off of here. Proverbs 123. 
turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. That is the free gift that is given to us. When we accept the reproof, we are given the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's the free gift. You Christians have been misled to think that the free gift is grace because of bloodshed. You think that you have grace. You think grace is covering all of your iniquity that you are freely choosing to do out of your free agency. You are freely choosing to hate people. You are freely choosing to be jealous of people. You are freely choosing to be envious of people. You are freely choosing to be selfish. You are freely choosing to be greedy. You are freely choosing to do all of these things. You are freely choosing to harden your heart against the spirit of truth. You are freely choosing to turn your ear away from reproof. So therefore, no, you are not covered in grace. No, you ain't got no grace. His grace is not covering you. Okay? You are going to reap every single thing that you have been sowing. Ain't no amount of bloodshed going to stop that eternal law of reaping what you sow. Okay, so the free gift is the Holy Spirit. Once you humble yourself, subdue your ego, and accept the reproof of the spirit of truth, you will be given the the free gift of the Holy Spirit. Okay, and um, he will make known to you his words. Okay, now when I have people... Ain't exclusive to me. All right. These oracles that I have been given is not exclusive to me. All right. Anybody could obtain it. It just takes humility. All right. Mm. Those who are most humble receive more. Okay, the more humble you are to the spirit of truth, the more reproof that you're able to accept and apply the truth to your life and live it, um, the more you will be given, the more of his oracles you'll be given, okay? Um, the Messiah told you the greatest in the kingdom are those who are able to humble themselves like a little child. Okay, see, my family regards me as not only ignorant, but irresponsible. All right, my family looks down upon me, but I've always been a child at heart, you know, and that is looked down upon. All right, it's looked at in this world as irresponsible. All right, I've always been looked at as an irresponsible adult, okay, because I did not have the type of heart to do what this world says we need to do, all right? Pine after money. Build a, a good life on this earth. Like, bro, no, nah, that, ain't, that ain't for me, all right? <clears throat> I was planted here by the Father to awaken in the land of my captivity um, to be a light to those who are seeking. Um, on that note, I am going to say shalom. I will be back again tomorrow um, to continue the flow by way of the Spirit and give you these messages. Shalom.